hard. Um, you know, there's some things that uh, we're going to look back on tomorrow and, you know, be really, really, be really frustrated about, um, you know, like talking what ifs, and that's going to be the, that's going to be the situation we're going to be dealing with tomorrow. But, um, you know, the guys in the locker room just talked about, you know, um, there is only one option. It's to move forward, it's get back to work. Uh, I think, I, I feel we got a, we got a great football team. Uh, we weren't at our best today. And, um, you know, we're going to find out, you know, really, you know, how much we care about each other and uh, what it looks like moving forward. So, um, you know, we've been tested in different ways, really a lot of the games uh, here this season, and this is a different type of test for us now in our response. Thanks, Coach. Nick, why don't you start? Yeah, third down, I think they were 12 for 18. What do you think led to you guys having issues with getting off the field defensively? Yeah, I mean, you know, the quarterback did a nice job uh, creating, and we got to continue. We got to do a better job of just being – disciplined um you know do our job and um you know he he keeps things alive with his feet um you know whether it was third down or just other downs uh, whether they you know they converted some third and longs i think those are the frustrating ones and so just great execution on their part obviously we expect to um you know do be, do good on third down too because i mean our we've done great great things on third down it's been more fourth down so um you know guys certainly are frustrated about that and uh, we will look at it and understand that they attacked us in a few different ways. But, you know, tip the hat to them. I mean, you know, made the throws, made the catches they needed to and uh, got themselves in some manageable third downs uh, early in the game. I think it was six for six for seven or so right away. And so, you know, they just uh, continued to wear on us, stayed on the football field. I see the time of possession and uh, that, you know, just continues to wear on your defense when you're out there that long. Katie? After you scored, uh, you set it to five. How much consideration was given into doing an onside kick or kind of what was the process there? Yeah, no, a lot of consideration. You know, just understand this, you know, everything uh, with the timeouts and the two minute warning and all that. Uh, you know, just really felt you know, we were going to be in a good spot. Get, you know, even if they got one first down, uh, depending on when that was, uh, we, would, we would still be able to have a good amount of time to be on the field. I don't think it was a matter of us being able to find guys and, and execute uh, and get the ball down, you know, and score offensively. So it was just a matter of getting the ball back. So obviously you, when it doesn't go the way you want, you know, you always look back and second guess, uh, you know, maybe wish you tried to onside kick it, but I, you know, I felt good about the decision at the time. And, and honestly, I still do right now. Chase. Uh Near the end of the first quarter, Vanderbilt punts. You guys have the substitution penalty with a couple of number twos on the field. They get a first down and end up scoring a touchdown. How damaging was, was that sequence? Yeah, that's and it's a team. It's a you know we win as a team, we lose a team. There's that's all of us, uh, and we have communication and um, we have communication and ways of making sure we're all on the same page and just you know what we called requiring certain guys to be on the field um, didn't get circulated around to everyone. I mean, we're well aware of that situation and uh, um, just got to, got to do a better job. That's, you know, it's like, like I said, you know, we win as a team and we lose a team. And, you know, those are the things that, that really hurt you because uh, you know, I think they kept the drive alive and then uh, ended up scoring a touchdown. And, you know, it was just that hump that we couldn't quite get over uh, through a lot of the game. And uh, that one is an early one. Left side, Mike. Malachi was pretty heated at the end of the game there. Just what was his message in the locker room? Yeah, he's, he was much better when he got in the locker room. Um, just, you know, the guy pours everything into what he does. doesn't make it okay, and we want to, you know, be, be first class in everything we do. And, uh, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of guys that are really frustrated. So, uh, you know, I think the key is, is that, you know, we turn that frustration into, you know, positives moving forward and make sure we remember what we feel here tonight. And uh, remember that tomorrow when we show up and Tuesday and Wednesday and, you know, all season long. And so um, Malachi, I'm 100% confident he will do that. Uh, he's, you know, the, the frustration out there, again, comes from the work that he puts in, the belief he puts in. There's not a guy that, you know, there's a couple of guys that were critical from day one when I got here that put their foot down and believed in this place. And he's certainly one of them. And we are going to continue to believe in him. And, uh, you know, he leaves it out on the football field, not just in every game, but every, every day when we're working, working out and practicing. Um, he's very vocal. Uh, he's, you know, and we need him to continue to be that way. Front right, Tony. Speaking of 
Malachi, though, was Kane Womack trying to take him out of the game at one point? It seems like you put in Bray Hubbard and then he wouldn't leave the field. How do you approach that situation? Uh, I'm not sure. Were you, uh, when was this? At the, at the very end, it seemed like oh, that oh, right now, oh, Hubbard yeah, yeah. the field and then Malachi wouldn't leave. Yeah, I mean, as long as he's not going to get another penalty. I mean, I think it was the penalty on him. I guess I was looking at something something else. And so I actually thought it was someone up front that got the penalty. And so um, just as that communication, yeah, I mean, I, I'm assuming that's what was happening there. How so, you, well, I guess, like, if, if he is refusing to leave, is there a way that you approach that? Or? Yeah, we'll definitely talk about it if that's what was going on there. All right, Colin. You talk about time of possession and, and those moments. I mean, I'm curious about what kind of the message. It seems like something that's happened over the course of these past few games. You've seen moments of whether it's time of possession, whether it's those long drives, bend the road, don't break defense. Is that something that you, you feel has been consistent and kind of just bubbled up under the pressure here against the soccer? Yeah, I think it's happened in different ways, right? It happened last week when the, there was that desperation for them to – continue to go for on fourth down. We were doing a good job on third down. This was a little different scenario. Uh, they just did a nice job on third down. Uh, I really don't feel like they would have probably been pressing as much, especially given the score, um, letting their defense go out there and, and do their thing. That's what they've done through you know the first uh, games that they played is played team football, played field position. I think they'd only gone for it three times, I think, all year going into today. So you know we needed to get to off the field on third down and, um, you know, Again, there's things in all phases that we can do better. We need to take care of the football. Uh, we need to get off the field on third down. And so, you know, we're going to own it as a team, and uh, we're going to, you know, keep moving forward. All right, last two questions. Why on left back? Right before that last touchdown drive, you were talking with Jalen Miller during the during the timeout. What were you saying to him in that moment? Are you talking about the one before we scored? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, we just we t- we we go through two minute drill, you know, every week. And, you know, I just keep reminding him of all the scenarios. And that was something I know he was asking a lot about this week when we, when he and I were meeting. Um, and I just reminded him that, you know, most two minute drills, you know, it isn't about the clock, it's about running out of downs. And as much as he's going to want to push the ball down the field and he needs to feel that he can do that because we were making plays and we were getting guys open, um, he needed to make sure he always understood the down and distance situation and, and, um, and, you know, continued to make sure we were getting first downs, uh, you know, five minutes to go or so. So um, it was about that and, and and getting first downs and then leading to a score. And I thought he did a great job. I thought, you know, he managed it, got us down there. We got the fourth down. We scored a touchdown. Finish up with Charlie front right. Were you at all surprised by what Vanderbilt did offensively? And regardless, how do you guys feel like you adjusted? Yeah. No, I mean, that's their style. That's what they've been doing. They've been controlling it. Uh, they've been making it close. They're going to run the clock down. Uh, they're going to shorten the game. We knew that that was going to be the case. We talked about it all week long, that that's, you know, Coach Lee. And, and that's why all, all week I said he's done a great job of playing team football. Uh, and that's exactly what they did, you know. Um, just, I think, you know, it come down to be assignment sound, you know. And, you know, they put you in isolated spots where one guy's, you got to get the ball carrier down, and um, you know they're just slippery enough, especially when the quarterback uh, just being able to, you know, make people miss. And he's a tough kid, and you know did a nice job. Uh, when you got, you know, kind of run into him, um, they threw just enough play action and wrinkles at you uh, to uh, to to get you on the other spots uh, with the other skill that was around him. You know, the fourth down was uh, was you know was probably the tough one. The touchdown that they had just. You know, I thought we were, were had a guy there, and you know, just throwing it up in the air and kind of spinning around. But that's what you do. You know, it's fourth down. You throw it up uh, when everything seems covered. And you know, hats off to them. They made a play. Thank you, Coach. Uh, thank you.